over 10,000 people marched from Pershing Square to the Financial District today. This is October 14th, day 14 of Occupy Los Angeles, and you're watching Inside Out News. came together at Pershing Square late this morning. Members of the SEIU, AFL-CIO labor unions, the Utility Workers Union of America, the Jewish Labor Committee, and others joined the occupiers on a march through downtown LA and over to the financial district, where they visited the various offices of bank corporations, including Bank of America. The police monitored the march through the city, but no altercations with the LAPD were reported. The marchers appeared to overall be nonviolent, and various members of the local community came out, including senior citizens and families with young children. From the financial district, the protesters made their way back to City Hall, where members of the demonstrators gave impromptu speeches to a 5,000 or so member crowd. We want to let them know that we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Right. And so what we're saying to you all is that when the troops come home from the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, from from risking their lives. We don't want them to go to middle class wage jobs. We want them to go to middle class wage jobs, not minimum wage jobs. Yeah. Yeah. We're being suffered. We're being suffered by people all around the world. We do not stand alone. We stand with them for all of our sins. We want them to know we are not going home. We are not going home. Occupy LA had a long list of performers and speakers today. Amongst the performers included Cornell McCobb, Luminaries, and Navasa and Mati Love. The opening speaker today was a man named Peter Joseph. Joseph is the award-winning creator of the film series, The Zeitgeist. Joseph spoke to the crowd for about a half an hour, encouraging the occupiers, as well as raising questions as to the goals of the movement itself. Systemically rooted in the core structure of what defines our economic system and the psychology that is created, supported, and rewarded. I keep hearing the phrase in, Occupy, in the Occupy movement, we are the 99%. And while I understand and admire that communicative gesture, I would like to expand back and think about this a little bit more technically. I think it's a little more accurate to say we are not the 99%. We're actually the 100%. And all of us are to blame. 
The only reason the 1% have what they do is because the 99% continues to support all the elements that fuel the wealth of the 1%. Yeah. The system is literally designed to support the 1% over the 99. The values that we see in our culture are designed to make sure you aspire to those that maintain the role of the 1%. It's called the American dream, remember? The American dream which only exists for the 1% and always did. In other parts of the country and the world, protests were not as friendly. Protesters began marching and occupying in Rome, Italy today, and RRT Russia Today has video showing rioting in the streets, altercations between the police and protesters, the windows of local police stations and banks broken, as well as injured protesters. Thousands of people marched from Washington Square Park to Times Square, New York City today, Reports came in over Twitter that the police were closing in on the protesters late this afternoon. There were eyewitness accounts of police officers riding on horseback attacking the protesters and at one point a horse fell over in the crowd. The police are reported as barricading the protesters in Times Square, refusing entry to hundreds of other people as well as members of the media. The Occupy Wall Street Twitter feed is reporting that 70 protests were, protesters were arrested today. There are also reports of arrests in Dallas. Inside Out News will have the day off tomorrow, but we will return on Monday with continued extensive coverage of Occupy Los Angeles. This is Margot Pius signing off for Inside Out News. Good night.